my dear friends this is abraham talking to you all the way from india well you may be in any part of the world in any country but india is the headline news on your television on your news channel because as you know that we are facing the biggest crisis ever any country has ever seen it almost looks like the pandemic the corona virus has been dumped in india would you believe that 390000 cases every day every day that is not may not be the realistic uh, data because i don't know whether where how will you be able to find the numbers from the remote villages almost 600000 villages in the nation of india and even this number is too high and what are we facing people are not able to help i am living in the capital city of delhi and what about us there is no oxygen cylinder in any hospital people are dying in the rickshaws in the taxis on the road cuz they can't breathe can you imagine that the free oxygen that our god the maker has given become so precious people are saying i can't breathe i can't breathe and they die there is no beds in the hospital people are dying all over the place so the dead bodies are taken to the cemetery and they're saying there's no place here dead bodies are lined up there's no place to bury them and in the cremation grounds there's mass cremation going on because there's no place to cremate the incinerator is packing up because too many dead bodies to burn the saddest thing is i lost five of my own pastors to covid amazing men dedicated servants of god they died just like that they died within 2 3 days they were gone We just buried on Sunday. What are my pastor's wife? Thirty-eight years old. Another pastor's son on Monday, twenty-seven years old. I'm getting a SOS calls from my pastors. Emergency. Every call is an emergency. Somebody wants to bury the dead. They can't even buy their coffin. Somebody is wanting money because they cannot go to the hospital because they can't pay the bills. Calls. to buy the coffin the needs where will i go we are trying to send all the money we can find putting my hands up in the air say god god how can i handle this how can we take care of these people i'm coming to you my dear friends blatantly i'm asking you two things from you when we want all the prayers we can find from you pray for us we need every prayer we can find and the second one is we need finance now we can't wait for another month another two months no friend we need our finance now to take care of these people who are in need please help us please help us to reach the lost medicines a burial oxygen help us God will richly bless you.